Hello everyone out there, welcome back to my channel. Now in the previous uh, class we have discussed about one important process that is about the process of photosynthesis and in that particular process we were discussing about all the green plants. But do you really think that all the plants around us are green in color? No, that's not possible and in fact that is uh, you can say that is a fact that not all the plants around us are green in color. There are certain plants which are completely different in color. So how are they going to have their food? Because we were just now discussing about the green plants. What about the plants which are of different colors? So today we will be looking into that concept only. That how exactly are the different colored plants are going to obtain their food from the nature. Okay, so that is why I have given this particular name to this particular picture, this particular video that is special ways of getting food. That means we will be looking into the category of non-green plants which does not have chlorophyll. Yes, we will be talking about non-green plants which does not have any kind of chlorophyll in it. For example, moles and mushrooms, these are basically a type of fungus. So, what exactly are these things going to do? They are going to obtain their food from the dead and decaying plants and animals. Means they are going to, uh, you can say they are going to feed on the organisms which are dying or which are completely dead. So what they are going to do is they are going to obtain their nutrition from there or else what they are going to do is they are going to simply consume the other organism or other animal. Now what these categories are that we will be looking into in detail. But before that we have certain examples over here like Indian pipe, coral root, mushroom, picture plant, Venus flytrap. So all these things are basically the categories of the plants which are non-green in color which lack chlorophyll so they are going to obtain their food in different ways. Now what is the first category that we are looking into? It is Indian pipe and coral root. So let me first of all show you the picture of these particular plants. This white plant over here is basically Indian pipe plant. This is the Indian pipe plant. Now here you can see clearly that it is white in color and not green in color. On the other hand, this next plant over here is the coral root plant. So this is basically the plant which is, you can say it is brownish in color but it is a combination of red and brown color. So whatever color it is, it is not green in color. That means it does not have chlorophyll. So how it will going to obtain the food? It will going to obtain the food by feeding on the dead and decaying plants and animals. How they are going to do it? When the dead and decaying bodies are being decomposed, they are being converted into simpler substances or the substances which are non-toxic in nature, which are non-poisonous in nature. So what will happen after that? The soil will going to absorb all the nutrients from these non-toxic bodies. Once it is absorbed by the soil, these two plants are, these two categories of plants are going to obtain their nutrition from there. Now, what is the next category? Next category we have is insectivorous plants. So what these insectivorous plants are, why are we calling them insectivorous? Because these are insect eating plants. Yes, these are insect eating plants. These plants are going to have insect as their food. For example, picture plant and Venus flytrap. But why are they having it, uh, these insects as the food? Because over here I have written one important aspect about these plants that these are not the non-green plants. These are green plants only. That means they can perform the process of photosynthesis. Then why do they have to eat the insects? They have to eat the insect because of the soil in which they are growing. This particular soil is basically lacking different kinds of minerals, especially nitrogen. Now, 
nitrogen is one such mineral which is important in fact very very important for the growth of plants as well as animals that is why it becomes an important aspect for these kinds of plants that how they are going to fulfill their requirement of these minerals which are lacking in the soil so that is why what they have to do is they have to eat the different kinds of insects and different kinds of organisms so that they can feed on these different kinds of organisms and they can obtain their nutrition now first of all we will be looking into the picture plant now what exactly picture plant looks like it is right in front of you now over here you can see that this particular region this is pink region this is basically the mouth of the picture or the container whereas this particular structure over here this leaf like structure apex this is basically the lid it is a movable lid it is you can say a cover what will going to happen is that over here like over here you can see that these are the structures or the organism which are basically right now inside the insectivorous plant that is the picture plant and once the organism is inside this particular picture ultimately what will happen it will going to digest it now how are they going to do it they are going to do it with the help of digestive juices or digestive enzymes what will happen that first of all these particular region the one which is inside the mouth of this particular plant this this particular region has small hair in it and because of these small hair the plant or sorry the animal which will going to enter this particular leaf or this particular modified leaf to be more specific it will not be able to move upward on the other hand the section which is at the bottom of this particular picture has certain liquids or fluids inside it now these fluids are basically known as digestive fluids or digestive enzymes why is they are known so because what they are going to do is they are going to digest the bigger or bigger molecule or bigger organisms into smaller pieces so that the plant can actually get nutrition from there so what exactly is the overall composition of the plant that we will be looking into right now first of all the leaf is modified into picture that is basically a container with a lid on the other hand what exactly is the next aspect that the apex of the leaf means the top region over here you can see it the apex of the leaf is basically the movable lid what is the next aspect that this particular inside region is going to have hair in it on the other hand these hair will going to trap the insect and it will not going to allow these insects to come out of the picture ultimately this lid will close simultaneously so that this particular plant can work on that particular organism which is inside the picture right now and how it will going to digest it with the help of the digestive juices what will happen that the digestive juices will be released so that the plant can digest this particular insect that is how these plants are going to obtain their nutrition now we have one more category of the plant that is venus fly trap so this particular structure is basically unique in the manner that there are lobes over here over here you can see that there are lobes which are connected with the midrib region over here you can see this thing so what is happening here is and there are small hair inside it like this and these are the spines on top of it or you can say on the edges of the particular structure that is the plant itself so over here you can see that these are the spines long sharp spines and these are the small hair which are going to 
keep the insect inside it. And what do you think what makes the uh, particular insect get attracted toward these particular plants? That is a sweet smelling fluid or secretion which is there on the top region means this particular region and this internal region of the lobe and because of this particular sweet smelling fluid different kinds of insects will be attracted towards it and ultimately the lobe will close itself as a result of that the insect will be trapped inside it so what exactly is the process over here that first of all the leaf is modified into two lobes like one two one two so these are two lobes that are joined at the center now this particular central line is the line which it is talking about and the edges are going to have long sharp spines and together they trap the trap with the help of the hair which are on the inner surface of the leaf now what exactly happens is the plant is going to have sweet fluid that will going to attract the insect towards the plant once the insect is trapped inside this particular lobe what will happen that the insect will remain closed inside this particular lobe and the spines will not going to allow the insect to escape now over in this particular picture you can see that the insect is over here the insect is trapped and it is not able to move out on the other hand what will happen once it is there inside the lobe the leaves will going to secrete the digestive juices and it will going to digest the particular insect it will going to obtain all the nutrition and once it is completely dead and it is completely out of it is uh, not of any use anymore so that ultimately going to open up so that the next particular insect can come up and it will become the food of this particular plant so these were the specific kind of structures or you can say specific kind of organisms which are going to obtain their food with the help of different means and different ways with this we are done with this particular video i will see you in the next video till then don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and keep spreading the video so that people can learn as per their own pace and i will see you in the next video take care of yourselves